go to Forest head coach Matt Kreisky. He joins us on the Oak Restaurant Hotline. Forrest got a big win tonight, and uh, Coach Kreisky, I've lost my brain on this nine single A with uh, with Middle Tennessee Christian beating Huntland. How does that uh, finish up uh, nine single A this year? Well, I believe that puts uh, Middle Tennessee Christian in first, Huntland in second, and then we fall to third. Huh. Yes, right. sir. I thought, I'm not. I'm not positive on that, but I, I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to end up. Since uh, that, because Milton C. Christian ends with a nine and one record, um, Huntland uh-huh. ends with an eight and two, and then they beat us head to head, and then uh, you know we finished seven and three and went uh-huh. off in the district. Yeah, but seven and three is going to get you into the district. It's not going to get you a bye the first week, but uh, yes, sir. Uh, Forrest gets in, and congratulations on the big win. Uh, it sounded like your kids, I, I got to listen to part of the game, not a lot of it, uh, but it sounded like your kids were very methodical and and uh, just kept leaning on Fayetteville and, and uh, didn't really have a huge blowout, just just continually put, putting points on the board. Does that sound accurate? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and our defense didn't give up. In a, uh, I scored and played the table had, I believe I was told, uh, 40 yards offense. We actually... Uh, Turned the ball twice over on, on the offense, and uh, they picked up the two fumbles and took them back. Uh, that's how they got 14 points. Um, so our defense did an outstanding job. Our offense, other than the two uh, turnovers that really hurt us tonight, um, you know that that was two bad things that happened tonight. Other than that, that we all played, you know, pretty good game. We're talking to Matt Kreisky. He is the head coach of the Forest Rockets. His first first year head coach for Forest. Matt, help me out here. I keep talking about this after you get off the phone uh, with us this season. And uh, uh, how many? This is are, is this the third year in a row with a new coach, or the fourth year in a row with a new coach for Forest? Uh, it's the fourth year. These uh, this senior class has had a different head coach every year uh, that they played here at Forest. And, you know that, that's unfortunate. Um, this is a great community, great school, and uh, just uh, things haven't happened right here lately, and we're hoping to change that. Well, I think that what it's been is it's been a coaching hotbed. Got coaches have moved on to other jobs, and and uh, the job that that you've done uh, is pretty special in, in in making those kids that have gone through so many transitions. I know you're going to give them a lot of credit for that, but but uh, you've also got to take some credit for how you've come in and. And uh, really, not just uh, been crazy and say, "Hey, we're going to change everything." You've you've taken what you found and uh, and made it better, haven't you? Uh, yes, we we tried to do that. You know, like you said, these these senior kids. You know, I met with them. I forgot the job, and um, you know, and big big part of them. You know, like you said, that they could have just went the other way, but they they once again that they failed. They trust me, and, and trust what we're we're trying to do here and establish here, and. Uh, also, I got to mention, I was fortunate, you know, Kyle Stacey's offensive line coach, former head coach here, um, you know, jumped on board. Um, he came back last year and he continued to stay after I took the job. And then that, that was a huge part of this. Um, you know, he, he, he knows this program inside and out. He was the head coach here for nine years. And, uh, you know, he, he's a huge part of our success also. And uh, Brent Johns, he's another, uh, he's our offensive coordinator. And uh, he's from Chapel Hill. Um, so it was huge to have those two guys that's familiar with the, with this community and the people and the kids to uh, help me out in this transition. All right, your first head coaching job, but you've been to the playoffs before. Uh, the the what's what's the idea here? You you is it a business? Is it a weekend just like normal? And next week's a, a work week just like normal? Yes, sir. We're going to treat everything like normal. We're uh, you know usually uh, we try to get ahead. And, you know, start working uh, tonight, but unfortunately, you know, we don't know who, who we got and, uh, next week. Uh, we'll, well, as soon as we find out, we'll start getting to work, and we'll work, you know, uh, pretty much the majority of the day tomorrow, and then we'll come in Sunday after church, and, and we'll work through till we get till we think we're, we're done, and then we'll treat next week just like we have in uh, each week this year. It sounds like uh, sounds like you're training for Murfreesboro. Oh, yes, sir, we're, we're trying. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same same weekend schedule. Well, Matt, uh, yes, we, we can't really talk a whole lot about next week, but uh, I guess there's a 50-50 chance you may travel. Seven wins is pretty good, but uh, you might have to travel, and uh, uh, and then uh, if you're fortunate enough to win, you will have to travel the second week. So uh, yes, good luck in that. You've, you've, you've been successful both on the road uh, and at home, and uh, – I got to think that whoever you get matched up with, you've got to you've got to feel pretty good about your chances. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're with you. Know, this is the time of year. It don't matter who they put in front of you. You got to take care of business if you want to move on. And that's the way we're going to look at it. We're not going to feel sorry for ourselves because if we have to travel, and uh, we're going to we're going to go out right ahead on and uh, get, try to get the job done. All right, Matt. We appreciate it. We hope to talk to you next week. Good luck in your preparations for the playoffs, my friend. Yes. Yes, sir. Thanks so much. All righty. That is Matt Kreisky, the head coach for the Forest Rockets on the scoreboard edition of Friday Night Thunder.